Peace. This is a meat and potatoes sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is stop skipping steps. One of the things that I've noticed over the years is that people want to jump exponentially to another level when it comes to the practice of magic. And what this ultimately ends up doing, it ends up harming the witch or the potential magician. That's why it's very important to follow steps. And I cannot emphasize enough, you have to be able to do cleansing as well as banishing when you're working with unfamiliar spirits. Now, the reason that this is so paramount is because people summon these spirits and then all of a sudden they don't know how to banish them. So what ultimately ends up happening is that this will affect your house, especially your mood, or this can harm your children or if you have a spouse in the home. So again, don't skip steps. I've seen it too many times when you are dealing with spirits, especially unfamiliar ones, you have to have spiritual muscle. That's why you get you books that will help you. Don't jump to advanced remorse. And I've said this before and people keep doing it. One person I know used advanced remorse and he called himself summoning the gin. Even when you read these remorse is for informational purposes. And if you notice in a lot of them, the writers really try to discourage you from working with the jinn because they're uncontrollable. And let's say it like this. They don't hold humans in high regard. That's why if you want to do this, become advanced first, then summon the kings. There's various kings and King Paimon is one of them. You trying to do it by yourself is not going to work. You have to stay in your lane. And one thing that I would like to talk about, even if you see the movie Kung Fu Panda, what did the Sifu say? It's one thing to see a kick or practice it, but it's another thing. It could take you years to utilize it in combat. So you don't know the application. I see this a lot of people. Oh, I have this book. I read this book. I read that. Have you practiced any of the rituals? And they stand back. Because we live in the climate of spiritual junkies where they want to hoard information, but they don't know how to put that qualitative information to good use. And the other trap that people fall into is on social media where you, you see these individuals with these grandiose titles and I'm priestess such and such and I'm the great sorcerer and, and my name is Alistair the Magus. And, and I'm just looking like amusing. And most of these people, to be honest with you, have only been practicing magic for a short time. Let me level with you just to learn two or three magical techniques and be good at them. This could take you anywhere from six months to a year. And a lot of teachers aren't going to tell you that, but they know. So when we sit back as true sorcerers, what we know is this is dangerous because it's not that we're not hating. Don't mistake constructive criticism and concerns for hating. That is not the case. Learn protection and banishing. And one thing that I will say about this, a good book to get is this one right here. Modern Magic, 12 Lessons in the High Magical Arts by Donald Michael Craig. I cannot emphasize that enough. This came out in 1988. And this was considered like the Holy Bible of that time for a lot of people just starting in. So get that. It is 12 lessons and it's very, very detailed. For example, right here, if you look, this is dealing with the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram by the Golden Dawn. So you have to learn these rituals. It's very detailed. It's step by step. And it will take you a long way and you can get it off of Amazon. It has at least 500 pages of great information and you have to learn this. It has the Kabbalah. It has the Tarot. It's very, very good for you starting out. But stop jumping to steps. Do the basic stuff. You have to. It's boring as that is. And like I said, it's going to take you months because a lot of you simply don't make the time. You don't make the time to practice magic. And you have to do that if you're going to be good. 
you have to at least put aside four to five hours for magical practice. Give yourself six months to a year and then your moment of clarity may go in your head and be like, oh, I have an understanding now. And then that's when you can go to a next level. But don't just start summoning spirits and you haven't did your research. You don't know anything about them. And spirits, some like humans, others do not. Some are for beginner friendly and some are do not summon me. Don't summon the gin and you don't know what you're doing. If you want to get rid of the gin and you done got yourself into some trouble and you're three steps away from running back to the church or the mosque, like I said, you could work with King Paymon and other people. Or if you're trying to specifically do certain cleansings or you just need an in-between, in work with Lucifer. If you're going to do something where the lesser banishing ritual, of course, you're going to work with people like Michael or Gabriel or Raphael. You're going to work with them. If you want an understanding of the Kabbalah, you're going to work with them. But then also one of the spheres, you're going to work with Raziel. Raziel is very good to work with when you're learning magic. But please, mentor cannot emphasize enough. Stop trying to jump out of a helicopter. So with that, that is your meat and potato associate for the production for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.